Hi, this is Jennifer from Indiana, and I'm just coming to you with my testimony about the KCI ministry, about the miracle ministry of a doctor and apostle Andrew Smith and April Smith. I've been greatly blessed by this man and woman of God. I just want to give them honor and due respect here and to let you know how to connect to this ministry and what it might do for you. I first met them back in 2013, early in the spring. Um, basically through social media, saw their post about this miracle ministry and their prayer line and also their Sunday services via the conference line. And so I was curious, checked it out, and immediately the Spirit in me just confirmed that these are true apostles of the Lord. The mighty word of God came out of them um, through prayer, through prophetic prayer over my life. They had given me confirmation of things that I had been told, but also advanced that even farther. Um, when Apostle Smith prayed over me, I immediately felt the fire of God. So here I am via a phone line, clear in Indiana, the first time speaking with him. And he was able to confirm all the things that God had been telling me and more and really fell to my needs in the face of the Lord on that day. This man and woman are my spiritual parent covering. Um, they're available to me if I have questions or concerns or need prayer covering. They've helped me step into my gifts, understand my gifts. And what I love about this ministry is that they are big on building leaders. So they let leaders have the platform and new and up and coming leaders have the platform so they can walk into their gifts, step into their gifts, be guided through their gifts, and be taught in a place that's supportive and family. Um, immediately you will feel on the line the presence of the Lord, the glory of the Lord and the worship um, that comes through each and every person. I just personally talked to um, Shatavia and Ebony about how much they blessed me with how strong their worship and praise is on the line. And I specifically love Dr. April, also her strategic planning and apostolic planning and administration that she does. Just the way that she speaks and sees things in the kingdom and advances the kingdom. I get to the end of the message and I think it can't get any better than this. And then um, either Dr. Andrew or um, April gets on the line and advances that teaching just one more step. It doesn't matter where you are um, in your calling, in your ministry, you're going to get something out of this word. And that's what I love because it can meet you at every level and it could advance you at every level. For myself, I just feel it's advancing my knowledge and the wisdom of the Lord and having this covering and support and this strength. Um, I'm just eternally grateful to these people, and I pray God's peace over them. I pray God's direction and guidance as they go forward, and I see this international calling on their life and how the Lord is leading them. So I encourage you to plug into this ministry, see what they're about. Check them out down in Jacksonville if you're in the area. Um, they also aren't afraid to go into the streets. They're always loving and praying on people, um, buying people groceries, um, paying people's rent. Um, they just really have the heart of the servant, and they do what Jesus would do. They walk down those streets and rescue those people and pull them in. A counselor myself um, in my ministry here in Indiana, God has me um, putting his true word into counseling to give people healing and deliverance. You're going to find deliverance on these lines every time. You're going to be delivered and be freed from things. There are things that attack leaders that we aren't always aware of, so we're not free just because we've done deliverance once. Um, there are days that I feel heaviness, um, that I feel beat up um, because of all the work that I'm doing and laboring in spirit and praying for other people. Um, these leaders revive me in that way. There are days that I feel heaviness, um, that I feel beat up um, because of all the work that I'm doing and laboring in spirit and praying for other people. Um, these leaders revive me in that way. There was a day that I was just sitting in my couch and listening to Dr. April, and I don't even know what she was saying. She wasn't even trying to pray deliverance, but she broke something free off of me, and I immediately felt it released because of the high anointing and calling on her life. It just broke that free. So I thank this man and woman of God. Um, I know Dr. Andrew is praying for us seven to eight hours a day, getting word from the Lord, staying in the Lord's presence, studying, guiding us, mapping out the days ahead. And so I just thank you both um, for this ministry, your vision, for listening to the Lord, for paying your dues. They have many, many testimonies of the struggles that they've been through. And you will hear these testimonies and realize they're not people who are going to be hypocritical or judge your life. They've been there and they know how to heal it and they know how to connect with people that can help you heal it. So I just praise you, man and woman of God, and I thank you for your impact on my life. And I hope this testimony blesses others and brings them to the Lord and brings them under a covering, if that's what they're needing, or just a, a network connection.